Hi, this is Paul Muth. I do Sugar Grove Pottery. I'm here in Danville, Kentucky. Um, Brandon Long in the Art Center asked me to do a little tour of where I'm doing my artist in residence in uh, this last bit. Um, I work here at home. Uh, this is my shop. Um, I'm still in winter mode, um, so things are pretty closed up here in the in the little shop. Um, the silver is actually a a big door that will be opened up and spends most of the summer opening um, and this is what makes for my glaze area and uh, a lot of stuff starting to pile up to get ready to be glazed um, as I come in I store my clay about anywhere I can during the summer um, but during the winter it's usually underneath the tarp over there underneath my workbench um, that's an insulated space where I keep can keep it all uh, pretty well, uh, safe from freezing. Uh, but here's my uh, wedging board, and that's where clay kind of starts in, is getting wedged and, and weighed out into amounts. And then I'm down to where I throw. I kind of haven't thrown for a couple of days. I'll be really ramping that up in the next couple of days. But I uh, haven't thrown for a bit, so I'm kind of dirty and dusty, and that'll get cleaned up a bit before I go. But the um, have a nice little fort here built, so everything's within reach, um, where I can throw and then store behind for slow drying um, afterwards. Uh, so when it gets thrown, and after being weighed out and cut, then um, does some drying there, then goes kind of through the little wall. Uh, this is my station where I am do a lot of hand building. But um, when I'm throwing, everything gets up onto these shelves here for the moment, then moves around. Oops, sorry for the shaky. Moves around to where I'm doing hand building. Um, so I've got kind of a hand building and everything kind of goes through there. I've got another wheel under there for trimming if I would like to trim. Uh, my son uses that wheel for trimming. He's a trimmer. Um, I'm really not. But um, so I've got but a hand building and finishing spot for there. Also, I do a lot of extrusions. So there's my big Play Doh Fun Factory on the wall. So for when I'm doing handles and lots of my other smaller um, carved out things like the twig houses and my um, little chairs that have come about, those start with an extrusion and then get carved out. And this is some of the little chairs. They're, um, they start as one piece extrusion and then get carved. Then these are little succulent planters that have taken over the world um, to doing, but uh, fire, here in a kiln, again, more succulent planters. Um, but that's where that goes. So everything goes through, you know, wedged, weighed, thrown, then finished and extruded. And then here to the work table, which is always piled to the ceiling. That's one thing or another uh, right now, succulent planters. Uh, then into kind of my glazing area which these big buckets are usually full with glaze again I'm in winter mode so everything is very tight over here where most of the summer and especially helpful because it's so dusty uh, most of the summer or spring and summer and fall uh, that wall is open completely and I can open it out to uh, the air um, but these are some bisque items that are getting ready to to be going. These are some things for Casa of the Bluegrass and some salad plates and dinner plates and luminaries and big casserole dishes. But this is my slab roller so I I do that for my uh, some some work but also it doubles as my glazing prep table um, and also woodworking <laughs> for where I make my dyes and and things so um quite a tiny shop 
Um, everything's a glorious mess. It's much dustier than it will be once spring and um, things can, can let me hose it out on a more regular basis. Um, I do have big work fans and filters and things that run constantly um, anyway, but um, dust is always an issue. So, and then outside, maybe I'll do a different video sometime of burning down ashes um, and things, but I've got a big burn barrel out there that um, I keep for uh, burning down different specific types of ashes to add into glazes. So, anyway, glorious mess, um, but keeping everything as workable a space as I can, especially a very tiny space like this. So, um, just hunkering down like everybody else, and we'll be doing lots more little chairs and lots of throne work here in the next week or so. So, um, again, thank you very much, and everybody be safe.